Hi, I'm Nick Federoff, and welcome to the Ultimate Garden Shed here at the thingsgreen.com botanical gardens. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the science of things green, and in particular, what plants grow in. Soil, now remember, it's soil, not dirt. Dirt is what's underneath your fingertips. Soil is that beautiful stuff that the roots just venture out to, grab the nutrients, bring them in, and give us those wonderful flowers and leaves and fruits and vegetables. Now, there are certain elements that go into making a wonderful, great soil. We have sand, silt, and clay. Oh, and we can't forget organic matter. Organic matter is way over here, and we'll talk about that in a second. Now, sand, silt, and clay is really important, and they have to be proportionate depending on the type of soil you want. Now, take a look at this chart, and you're gonna see that there's sand represented on one side, clay on another, and silt on another. And if you were to cross the excess of these, and percentage-wise, you can create a sandy loam soil, you can create a clay soil, a clay sandy loam, I mean, the combinations are just endless, it seems like. Now, what do you say we decide to make our own mix right now? We're gonna create what I like to call our three, two, one, two mix, where we take three parts of our sand. And of course, we're just doing this for small purposes over here. You could do this with shovels and wheelbarrows or whatever the case may be. But you go one, two, three. You want three parts sand. And then we get our silt, and our silt almost kind of seems like sand, but it's not. And we do two of those, one, two. Now our clay, our clay is gonna be really lumpy looking sometimes, and I'm gonna take some of the smooth stuff out of here, and we're gonna get two big heapings of this, one and two. Now what we're gonna do is get our organic matter. And organic matter is really, really fun and interesting stuff because this stuff is made of dried leaves of different sorts and branches and grass clippings that have basically been composted or rotted down even though it doesn't have a smell to it other than an earthy smell. And what we're gonna want is two big heapings of this. So we want one, and we're gonna go two. And I was trying to find a worm. We actually had, oh, here he is right here. Look at this guy, look at this guy. This is exciting, look at. If you can find worms, <laughs> look at this. Is this too fun or what? If you can put worms into your compost, into your soil mix, let me tell you, this is fantastic. This one worm right here will actually hatch uh, between uh, uh, about 12 eggs and inside each egg it'll have up anywhere between uh, six to nine worms inside of it so it's gonna go like crazy so what we do here is then we just mix all this up don't worry the uh, the worm likes this it's gonna end up hiding in here and what we've now created is a great soil mix that is light has all the properties of sand, silt, clay, organic matter. And if you were to take this just like this, throw some seeds in here, poke some holes in the bottom so there's drainage, throw a couple of seeds in here, and then cover them up, watch it grow. It's gonna grow fantastic for you, as opposed to growing in just one of these elements by themselves. This program is brought to you in part by Register in Education, providing teachers with innovative teaching tools on subjects like math, science, health, and geography. To schools in Orange County, Register in Education is provided free of charge. Organic Choice from miracle Grow. When you log on to thingsgreen.com, don't forget to visit Things Green TV. There, you're going to find moving pictures and interviews with celebrities and a whole lot of how to do things. That's on thingsgreen.com. Vitamins, hormones, super thrive. 400 huge specimen trees, zero loss at Disneyland. Yeah, super thrive. 